William Shakespeare wrote, there is nothing so confining as the presence of our own perception. Well, for nine months, we find ourselves captivated within a heavenly bubble, drifting into space, filled with the dull sound of the world outside. Eventually, we are released into a noisy, chaotic world. We develop, we become full-grown adults, and then we're expected to thrive, to become someone of importance and value. But the question is, how do we get there? How do we know which path to take? Do we follow the generation that came before us? Do we let our academic grades decide which career path to pursue? Or do we open new doors, unlocking new opportunities? My name is Bejan Neroman, born in a time of war in Afghanistan. <sighs> Destiny took a grim turn when I found myself orphaned at the age of four. In the face of this shock, my older brother stepped into the role of both father and mother figure. He sacrificed his teenage life and committed himself to the upbringing of me and my siblings. He worked extremely hard, and with the support of other family members, we were able to come to the UK. We settled in London, a strange but exciting new place for me. I went from Dari, which was my mother tongue, to learning English from the Hollywood movie stars like Tom Cruise, Bruce Willis. I went from the war-torn landscape of Afghanistan, marked by the presence of the tanks, to the bustling streets of London, where the red iconic buses painted the cityscape. Growing up, I remember, while other children were watching CBBC, colorful cartoon characters, learning language songs like Baba, Black Sheep, a typical Afghan household was watching a Bollywood movie. I remember as young as five years old, I was fascinated by these larger-than-life movies. And I used to find myself reenacting like a Bollywood star, one of my favorite ones, Shah Rukh Khan. But I noticed something very, very quickly. As much as my family loved, loved Bollywood movies and movies in general, having a career in this industry was almost forbidden, prohibited, especially for me. As I matured and learned life lessons, I realized something that we're all superheroes. We have the power within. Even now, as you sit there listening to me, you have the power to grow past the confine of your own being and become someone of importance and value. A dream was growing, building slowly inside. I studied business management at Bruno University, London, and achieved a first-class degree. After graduation, I found myself stuck behind a desk in a bank. My inner power was growing. I knew I had a deeper purpose to fulfill. The writer Alice Walker wrote, the most common way people give up their power is by thinking they don't have any. Just think about that for a moment. A lot of time in life, we feel like we're not worthy or don't deserve amazing life. In my daily job, I was stuck on a repetitive cycle, each day mirroring the one before. I was going to harness my powers and flush my dreams of having a career in the film industry. However, I handed in my resignation letter, left my secure study job, and was extremely happy to start this new chapter. But within a few days, I was up against my biggest barrier. The man who raised me, fed me, clothed me, was now someone 
it was against my dreams. My parental figure, my brother. You see, when you come from Afghanistan, you carry a responsibility to the next generation. You work extremely hard, be humble, and most importantly, become a family man. You do not become a movie star, especially, especially with the non-existence of a film industry in Afghanistan, where such career is not regarded as legitimate nor sustainable. As an Afghan, your career paths are narrowed down to three things. Doctor, which is a doctor, engineer, which is an engineer, or malim, which is a teacher. But how can I overcome these challenges? Easy. Okay, you form a group of ex-students, give them a hat that says filmmaker, and start writing and filming your own film here in London. Each weekend, we sat, we wrote, we filmed, we edited. Over several months, eventually, we had a finished movie with no funding and just my personal savings. What I realized in the process was that I had to close my mind off the world, listen to my inner voice, my desires, my dreams. I had to draw upon my inner power that created a feeling of joy, belonging, and happiness. However rough our production day may have been, I witnessed a huge positive impact this film had made. From bringing together dreamers and student filmmakers to the project, to creating a content for the Afghan film industry, and to introducing a fresh perspective from the young generation angle, it really made me realize that monetary value and social opinions held little significance. During the film's production, I intentionally kept it a secret from my dear brother, knowing he will disapprove. I wanted to surprise him and demonstrate that anything is achievable. As the filming progressed, a scene from my own life was yet to unfold, where I finally revealed to him that I had completed a movie. With all my courage and a heart filled with love and respect, I told him, and the response was what I expected. Disappointment. You have brought shame to the family. Society would see how poorly I have raised you. And you'll never be able to find a suitable life partner. Right there in that moment, I felt reduced to a disheartened, vulnerable child who has disobeyed his father. Weeks went on in a saddened state for me. But I had to surround myself with like-minded people. I had to keep sharing my passion with other passionate people. Our small community our inner power as a small community was infectious. It motivated others to create new goals for themselves. For a moment, I thought to myself, was the old ideology long gone? All of a sudden, everybody wanted to help out with the film and watch it. I thought to myself, did we create a change? Fast forward two years, I repeated the same process again, bringing together British actors and filmmakers to creating an independent British feature film this time. The idea, the idea of having a premiere in Leicester Square, the heart of London, never crossed my mind. Coming from Afghanistan at the age of four and contributing to its creative industry in the center of London was a heartwarming experience. There's one of my favorite, favorite quotes from Paolo Coelho, 
He stated, when you want something in life, there's nothing stopping you. But you must be willing to take an action. And the quote goes, when you want something in life, all the universe conspires in helping it come true. My dreams had created a rift between me and my dear brother. But love and respect settled the friction. A few gentle words of understanding and sharing each other's thoughts was key. Shutting him off or going solo was never the solution. Our inner power is to share, to communicate, to voice our dreams so that others who hear you may be able to help you. My parental figure was softening. He came to my film's premiere. A guy who was once embarrassed to tell people what I was doing as a career was now one of my biggest supporters in my first ever premiere. He was amongst the cheering crowd in the front row seat. For a moment, I thought to myself, how would my parents feel today? I was extremely proud. He was proud, and I'm sure, and I'm sure they were proud as well. And I'm sure they were proud of him more than me. Because he's raised a good son who's standing right in front of you guys on a TEDx stage. Life had changed. I had listened to my inner power, my desires, my dreams. I never gave up. And most importantly, trusted in God. For me, making films is more than entertainment. It serves a pathway for the aspiration of future Afghans and others who want to enter the film industry despite the challenges. It possesses a unique ability to show the richness of Afghan culture, breaking stereotypes. I want to pave that way for the young generation of dreamers. So, we all have the power to love, to share, to communicate, and to involve others in all what we do. A dream starts alone, in a dark room, on a bus ride, or while you're stuck behind a desk in a bank. But, they turn into reality by taking action, sharing it with other people, with other passionate people. You never know who will come out of the dark, reach out with a guiding hand to support you. Silence is the loudest sound. Look deep within. Find the power again to make a change in your life for the better, for the future generation. Finally, I would like you all to stand up, just for a few seconds. Perfect. Okay. And like a superhero, put your fist on your hip. Look up and close your eyes. And now, visualize that one thing that you've always wanted to do, but you never had the chance to do it. Really visualize it. Come out of this place. Okay, you may all open your eyes. And relax your hands. And while you're standing, while you're standing, let's all make a promise together. Okay? Can I hear you? Yes? Can we make a promise together? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let's all let our stories inspire the world. For in each of us lies the power to redefine the script of our existence. 
and rewrite challenge taboos.